We are poor night to get lucky. Speaking of lucky, I never use these buttons. In fact, I never use these links. Ah, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. And tell you what, let's get rid of the logo while we're here. I don't, I don't need to know it's Google, I'm always on Google. All right, there we go. Actually, it's too much white. Let's change that to and let's make it purple. That'll do. Do you know what? Let's skin the entire web. In my last video, I received a comment from Dark Snow that says, Black YouTube, you must tell me what sorcery did you use? Okay, those of you who have followed my videos will know I use something called Stylish. You can download a bunch of themes for popular websites such as YouTube. In my case, I got Black YouTube by Panos. It's nice to have, but I have to rely, one, on this guy making updates to this theme, otherwise I'm going to have to look for another one. Two, this is only for popular websites, so if I want to skin the entire internet, I can't use that through that. And three, it's not very personalized. I'm pretty much relying on what he's changed. I can't do my own specific tweaks, but that's stylish. Let's think about skinning the entire internet. Go ahead and disable this. But first to do this, we need to know how kind of web page loading works. So when you connect to a server, you get HTML sent back to you in code and CSS sent to you too. So that both of those are processed by your browser so you see a page like I see here. So the HTML governs the content that you see on the page, so such as what does the text say, and the CSS rules pretty much govern the style of the page. So what color is the text? Where should the text be placed on the page? Now, we could try and change this. Obviously we can't change this server side. That's what you, you're, you're trying to retrieve from your browser. And if I did that, I could, for example, uh, change the YouTube video size to be stupidly small. And then everyone would complain on Twitter that there's been a YouTube change. We can't do that. That would be hacking and that's hacking the code server side. But what we can do is do our own custom CSS through our browser. So firstly, we need to know what CSS the website has. So if I right click on this little area and find out what's here, I can go to inspect element and it will pretty much show me the area of code I'm looking at for this entire bit. And on the right, it shows me the style that's being put on this. As you can see, it's quite in depth because obviously YouTube is quite uh, a heavy site. So that's that. I can start changing things inside this area. This, so for example, this width 100%, I could change to 20. And as you can see, as I'm doing it, it does things live, starts moving my video around. So again, if I did this server side, everyone might be a little bit annoyed that I'm moving their video around. But that, well, I'm not gonna lie, that would be pretty cool. Anyway, so if I change this, so if I change this to 14, press enter, press the X button, it's now changed. But as soon as I go to refresh the page, it's gone because it's retrieved a new version from the server and my browser hasn't changed it because that inspect element is designed for the people who made the website. It's for them to edit their code that way and put it that side so it sends that new version of edited code to you and then you see the change. So what we need to do is instruct our web browser to change the custom CSS after the page has been loaded. So I'm not going to be talking about learning CSS and I'm not going to expect to you, for you to know CSS in this video. Here I'm going to go ahead and change the published on 29th, that's absolutely fine. I'm using an extension called Starbot, I'm going to press Alt and M on that and as you can see I can have another area where I can just find whatever I want to change I'm going to click it and this is pretty much what I'm going to change. If I want to select something else, I can press this little element selector again and find what I want. But in this case, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to change the font family. I'm going to have it be Roboto and bold. I'm going to make it big, 30. And that looks silly, but I don't care. Small caps. And I'm going to make it pink and the background to be black. So you can see the pretty much extent that you can change things on the page and this is just something really basic you can go as far as you like with anything on the page that you want to start changing I can change the border I can change the layout so I could start moving some of these pictures around you may have seen things like JavaScript hacks that do this but this does a permanent thing that you'll see every time you visit the page so you can take out the stuff you don't like and keep the stuff that you do you're basically web designing on the fly 
So this is just the basic area. In the advanced area, you can apply your own CSS code. So if you do know CSS code, this is where you go. Or if you want to learn, then you'll see I have CSS for the specific element are uh, these properties. So that way I can now know that the font size is 30px and everything is getting saved. So if I now close out of this, refresh the page. Now this won't apply to certain things that are made dynamically. So for example, my little thing here which is controlled by I believe to be JavaScript this would not change but as you can see this pink text is still here and it has everything I changed on it so that's all done inside the CSS now under Starbot there are some other people that have already made some styles I can go through each one you can see some nice ones that people have made but mine might be a little bit messed up because I'm using Tampa Monkey for user scripts which I've talked about before fixing YouTube and that's pretty much it. If you make a mistake, just head to remove styling and you're back to square one and you can refresh the page and it's back to a new version that the server sends you. So that's pretty much it. You can use this tool to style the web exactly how you want and it'll apply it to every single web page that loads inside your browser. So feel free to go nuts, start customizing and I'll see you guys in the next video.